Hello. In this session, we will see how to use Postman effectively to test our API endpoints. We will see how to use collections and environments to be more productive. If you never use Postman, then it is a must have tool for API development. Using Postman, we can make calls to our API endpoints much easier than Swagger. Up till now, we are using Swagger to call endpoints, but the problem is every time we run the program, data in the swagger gets cleared so for example if there is a post endpoint which needs 20 fields then we need to recreate that request object every time we run the program and the problem is much bigger if there are hundreds of endpoints here postman comes to rescue in postman we create request once and save them to reuse multiple times if you do not have postman installed on your system Please download it from the link given in the description. Once Postman is launched, your screen should look something like this. Make sure that your API project is running. Copy this base URL as we will need it in Postman. Come back to Postman. One important setting we need to change over here for development is go to the settings and don't forget to disable this SSL certificate verification. Make sure that collections tab is selected. Click on plus icon to create new collection. Name it project or I am. Now let us create requests for our create, update, delete, read endpoints. Click on this triple dot. Add request. Name it get stories. We will be using get HTTP verb. Paste the URL and then the endpoint name. So this URL should call our get endpoint. Click on send button and it is hitting our get action method. And you can see response over here. Same way we can go ahead and create requests for put, post and delete. But the problem is that when we will deploy this application, the base URL will change. And then we need to make copy of all these requests again if there are hundreds of endpoints then we need to repeat it for all these endpoints then again in deployment we can have multiple environments like development staging and production which will have different urls so it is not practical solution to make multiple copies of all these requests so how to solve this problem so we can solve this problem using environment variables let us go to environments and let us create local environment over here. Inside this environment, we can define variables. So we will need one variable right now that is base URL. Current value for it is this. Save the change. Come back to collection. Select the request. Don't forget to select your environment. And now, Instead of hard coding this path over here, we will be using environment variable from local environment that we just created. To use environment variable, you just need to enclose environment variable name inside double braces. It is giving us 404 not found. I think we need to remove that slash at the end. Come back to environment variable, make this small fix. Now try again. And again, it is hitting same action method. Now let us create request for other endpoints. First, make sure that you save changes to this request. Hit control S. Then you can duplicate this request. So same path is here we need to change this name that is get story by id and here in route we need to pass id so in get stories we have this id copy it and send the request 
it is hitting get by id endpoint and this is the response again instead of hard coding this id you should always put it in environment variable as this id will keep changing for different environments for example when you will be testing for production database this id will not be available in production database and endpoint will not work so let us move it to environment variable go back to environment local create new variable story id paste it save come back to your request use story id variable send the request it is behaving as expected you got the same response now let us add create request rename it create story and it is post request so change the http work this i will not need yet now to post request we need to pass request body so go to this body tab select raw and select json as we are passing json data story created via postman save the changes and hit the send button so it is hitting post action method and it will create that resource in database and that newly created resource you can see here it is giving us 201 created status response same way add request for put endpoint update story for update story we need to select put http verb and in route we need to pass the id of story that we want to update so we already have this variable story id in our environment that we can utilize here and in body i'll say story updated via postman and to update endpoint we also need to pass id in our request body save the changes and hit send button it is properly going to our put endpoint and it will update that resource and it will return us the updated document and the last one is delete story delete story will not need anything in body you can remove this make sure that you selected delete http work save the changes and send the request it is hitting delete endpoint and it will delete that document from cosmos db and it is giving us success with deleted document in the response with this we created all these five requests and the benefit is that now it is saved even if we will stop the application and rerun we need not to create all these requests again now in future for example if we have production environment we can simply duplicate this we can name this production and we can have new values over here like we can have orionapi.com for base URI for story ID we can have some ID and then you can go to collection and you can change environment from this drop down select the production and now all these requests will start pointing to your production environment now you can see that same request will now hit to orionapi.com slash stories as we don't have this environment right now i'll remove this make sure that local is selected here i would like to do one small fix in our project stop your application go to your base controller it is standard practice to have api as a prefix in your api endpoints routes so i'll put it over here with this change our api endpoint will look like this api slash stories 
so we need to make this change in our postman also go to postman environment local environment and fix this just by putting api here save the change and test the endpoint if it is working properly and it is giving us list of stories now to keep things properly organized let us create folder story and move all these requests to this folder this way our collection will look more organized this structure will be much useful when endpoints will grow further let us stop here if you find this content useful please like and subscribe if you wish to receive notification whenever a new episode is published then do not forget to hit bell icon and click on all menu in that pop up window thank you now to keep things properly organized let us create folder story and move all these requests to this folder this way our collection will look more organized this structure will be much useful when endpoints will grow further